Business owners wear many hats, especially when starting out, but are some skills and tasks more critical, more important than others? Discovering the three critical skills that every business owner must learn is what today's post is all about. Let's jump into it. How's it going? This is Jeff from 10tononline.com where I help business owners untangle the web so they can build and grow their projects themselves. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to dive right into it? Let's go. The first skill is sales. No matter what your product or service is, you need to have some basic sales skills. Most people, especially creative types, those who come from a creative background are repelled at the thought, at the notion of selling. But this is actually a good thing. Hear me out here. Here's why. If selling feels kind of gross and uncomfortable to you, it's very likely that it's because you've had a bad experience with a sleazy salesperson in the past. We've all had those experiences, haven't we? As customers, they don't make us feel very good, do they? And you don't want to treat your customers like that, do you? You don't want them to feel the same way that you did. After all, you know that you've got a great product or service that can genuinely help people. So the discomfort that you're feeling comes from knowing on the one hand that you've got to make sales to stay in business and to help people, but not wanting to be a sleazeball on the other hand. If you're feeling this way about selling, then it means that you're a good person who doesn't want to take advantage of people. And that's a very, very good thing. But it still leaves us with the problem of sales feeling kind of gross. But consider this. Selling is not about being sleazy or taking advantage of people. That's a very amateurish and very short-sighted version of selling that's most often found on used car lots or on game shows or on the other end of an unwanted telephone call, right? Now, do these sorts of people strike you as being business professionals? So what we often think of as selling is actually a very, very amateurish, you know, Bush League version of selling that makes use of tactics and ploys used by amateurs, scammers, and greaseballs, not by genuine business people and professionals. So instead, create a new definition for what selling means. For me, selling means being helpful. Selling means being of service to others. Selling means teaching. It means being generous and genuinely concerned for what's best for your customers. Because if you take care of your customers first, they will take care of you. So try to get it out of your head that selling is gross or sleazy. Instead, help your customers get what they want and they'll help you get what you want. It is as simple as that. That was our first skill. Now the second skill, that was a long rant on the first skill, wasn't it? Second skill, visual design. Let's check this out here. Another set of skills that you'll need as a business owner are design skills, aka visual communications. Now, you don't need to become a professional graphic designer or anything like that. Just the basics will do for you. And understanding the fundamentals of design and color and typography actually begins overlapping with persuasion and psychology, believe it or not, which is absolutely fascinating stuff. This is because design and selling, remember our new definition for selling, right? Which relates to persuasion and psychology are actually subsets of marketing. So begin learning a bit about layouts and font combinations and color combinations and branding and more to help push your business and your marketing efforts further. 
even if it's not your thing, knowing the basics of visual design, visual communication can give you huge advantages. For example, you'll look much more professional to your customers and looking and being professional is a big, big part of gaining trust with your customers. All right, that brings us to skill number three. Check this out. I just labeled this technical. What do I mean by technical? Well, the third and final set of skills you will need are technical in nature. Isn't that obvious? You'll need to learn a bit about modern technology, in other words. This means you'll very likely need to learn some web design and perhaps some WordPress, some Photoshop, and maybe a little bit of HTML and CSS. You'll also need to learn about the different tools you'll be using in your marketing efforts, like social media platforms and email platforms and services, maybe online advertising and other tools that you'll use in your business and in your marketing. You may also need to learn technical skills related to other areas of your business as well. For instance, like how to edit video, if that's going to be a part of your marketing, how to use a DSLR camera and so on. And the great news is this, that unlike in the past, these tools are getting easier and easier for you and I to use and are becoming more and more powerful as well. And this is why it's so critical for you to know that you don't need to become a world-class expert like a full stack web developer or a computer geek or pro photographer or expert graphic designer, but you do need to have at least rudimentary skills related to modern technology. Just remember, often the basics will do just fine. So now ask yourself, what other technical areas will you need to learn for your unique business? Photography, maybe, or maybe some podcasting, software like Adobe Illustrator or perhaps Google SketchUp. I have no idea. How about online advertising or maybe copywriting? I don't know what your unique business is, so I can't really offer direct advice to you, but you do. I'll bet you know exactly what you should be learning next. So make a list of the topics and areas you need to look into yourself and start knocking them down. Let's take the next step together in my free online workshop at tentononline.com forward slash free. See there you'll learn in detail about the 10 simple building blocks you'll need to build and grow your business online. You'll learn about some of the biggest mistakes that I've made in business and how you can avoid them. And we'll also dissolve some of the biggest myths in online business as well. I don't know how long this workshop will be available, so grab it while you can. Join me over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. I'll see you there.